right, so he's just had his one year jabs. It won't go away with it. Look for me, sorry. In the morning, how many do you need this morning? <laughs> Get on with that. Book people in for tomorrow. Put that down for the doctor. We do say to allow two to three hours for the doctor to prioritise the call. And then what happened? So I'm Dr. Joey McHugh and I'm one of the GPs at Axbridge and Wedmore Medical Centre. So we started off the huddles about two months ago and have been constantly developing them over every week by listening to feedback from our staff. What we've found is that because we work in a variety of sites and in different parts of the building, sometimes people wouldn't see each other all day and there would be lots of email traffic and sort of unresolved problems. By doing the huddle for 10 minutes in the morning, we've managed to reduce how much email traffic is, is dealt with and actually because you're in the huddle and you're face to face, people take ownership of issues and problems and so they're dealt with and then fed back sort of within the week about what action has been taken. There's still a considerable amount of work to be done on improving the huddles. We've changed the time, we've changed the duration, we've changed phoning in, we've changed how we share the huddle information with people who come in later. Hospice and she sent a lovely card yesterday saying thanks for all the support from everybody at the surgery and how great how, uh, we've all been and how well supported she's felt. And the feedback that we're getting from staff is incredibly positive so hopefully we can continue to do it, continue to make it slicker and to learn from other places and how they do their huddles as well.